Thank you for listening to the weekly messages of New Providence Primitive Baptist Church. To subscribe to our podcast, hear other messages, or learn more about us, please visit nppbc.com. Expecting a blessing. Oh, we've been blessed. Good to be alive and be saved by the grace of God. Uh, I've got a different message tonight, I guess. It's still the Word of God, still the old timey yeah. way. I like the old fashioned way. I don't like this new stuff. I like the old time way. Jeremiah said, Find the old path and walk therein. I like them songs. And that far singing, and then them other two songs. God's in the valley, He's on the mountaintop, He's with us all the way. We sang page 68 in the Red Book, our church a lot. You take me through. I used to sing a song. I ain't sang it in a while. Uh, Keep me safe till the storm passes by. And I'm glad no matter how high the waves are, how bad it may be, God will still be there. He said he'd never leave us and never forsake us. I'm glad we've got a God that cares about us and understands this world and this system today. They don't care a thing about us. But I'm glad there's a God looking down upon us tonight. He knows our heart. Good to be here. I appreciate Brother Tommy. From the bottom of my heart, I'd give him his flowers while he's living. I appreciate him. I told him when he asked me to come, I said, Tommy, I appreciate that. I thank God that I'm still able to go and preach the Word of God. And I may not be the best, but I try to do my best and obey God. I've studied hard for this message, and I, I, I want to be in the will of God, in the center of God, and I want God to use me. And I'm not making it up, planning it up. I don't work it up. I just... Follow God and pray and Amen. trust God. Yes. And you have your Bibles tonight. I've got two, three places I want to read, really. Uh, I've got several things to say tonight. If I can get it all in, I try to cram it in as much as I can. I'm like an old hay baler. We used to have one on the farm there, and sometimes them baler come out fast and you catch them. <laughs> I hope it don't get too fast tonight and you can't catch it, but I come to help you tonight Amen. with the Word of God. Appreciate my wife. I mean, she's going through some hard times right now. God knows all about it. God knows all things. We can't hide from God. You can't do wrong and get by. And I know God knows our hearts and our needs tonight. And uh, have your Bibles tonight. Proverbs chapter uh, 25 and verse 14. Uh, 25, Proverbs 25 and verse 14. They're little short verses, but it's to bring these, to bring the message tonight. The Bible said in Proverbs 4, 25 and 14, Whosoever boasts himself of a fault, yeah, is like cloud and wind without land. Now jump over in Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 1. Look what it says. The Bible said, Proverbs 27 1, Most I said not for tomorrow, for thou knoweth not what a day may bring forth. Now jump back with me just a minute, and then you can be seated. We're going to pray and bring the message that God laid on my heart tonight. But I'm thankful tonight to be here, uh, and I'm thankful to be alive. Bible said here in uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 6, Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. I want to bring a message tonight. You can be seated. We're going to pray. Uh, I want to bring a message tonight. We have nothing to boast about but God. I mean, it's all about God tonight. It's not about me, how good I am, how pretty I am, not how good I can preach, uh, nothing like that. It's all about God. I, I'm just what I am by the grace of God. And, and I hope this message will come out like I want it to tonight. I pray hard today and I, I've been busy today and all week. And this seems like sometimes I ain't got enough for time, but I take that time to study God's Word. And I was busy Monday night in a meeting up in Carroll. I got some more meetings up in Jelly Cove. Trying to stay busy. Got two broad, radio broadcasts and church and just a lot of things going on, but. I enjoy going to the house of God. Yeah, I, I thought about the revival we had a while back. It really helped me. I'm still a feasting off of that. And it shouldn't have died down. It should still be in our heart and, and looking for another revival. Brother Tommy told me there's plenty about one here. We are at church. And so us pray that God will send a word where I'd be by one and save them this all before it's too late because time's running out. But I want to bring a message tonight. We have nothing to boast about but God, our Heavenly Father, this little boy will come to you tonight as I know how. Thank you to be behind the pulpit another time this side of eternity. It's good to be in the uh, uh, New Providence Primitive Baptist Church tonight, God, Brother Tommy. 
I come to fill his shoes. I can't preach like him. He can't preach like me, but God, I just want to do my best. I want to be a help to these dear saints of God that's gathered tonight. Got a pretty good crowd, and I thank you for that. God, we're living in a fallen away. Seems like people don't want the truth anymore. These big churches are packing them out. But God, we've come together tonight for no other reason but to lift up your name and praise you, glorify you, bless us now, have your way. I pray for everyone here tonight. Maybe I think they're better than somebody else. They need to come to all of God. This help us tonight. That's what this message is about tonight. It's not about me. It's all about you. It's your word, God, that you've laid on my heart. Bless us now, we pray. Amen and amen. Good to be here tonight. I want to say that. And I do need your prayers tonight. I'm going to start off tonight. Uh, uh, we have nothing to boast about. You know, a lot of people, they brag on a lot of things and how good they are and what they've got and what they uh, have. Everything we have, but a grant comes from God. Even the breath that we breathe, it comes yeah. from God. I was reading that today. Now in Genesis, how that God had made man from the dust of the ground and breathed in his snuffers. Uh, and we've got food on our table, got shoes on our feet. Uh, i got... Uh, uh, a lot of good things that God's blessed us with. I, I, I was telling somebody up there Monday night in the meeting I was in, I, I said, we need to go back to the old coal lamps and alders and places like we used to have back years ago. Didn't have padded pews and carpet and air conditions. I, I mean, we're sport tonight. We're blessed, ain't we? I, I thank God. I, I can't break on myself. Nothing good about me. Only thing good is what's in my heart my soul. I, I, but I want to break on God tonight. I, I, first of all, we have nothing to boast about ourselves. I'm nothing without God. I, 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 I was born lost without God. I, I'm born with, without a Savior, but I'm glad I know who He is. I, I like that song. I, my anchor still holds that lady song. I, I thank Abby for singing that song. I, God's on the mountain. I, I will waste time. You feel like you're all alone. I, but God's always there. I, that's why I can boast. I'm God. God's been good to this old boy. I wonder if he's been good to you. We ought to just take our time and say thank you, Lord. The Bible said in Psalm 94 and verse 4, How long shall they that utter uh, uh, early uh, uh, and, and speak in hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? I, I want people today, they boast about this and that. I, I got a neighbor next door, a good man. He helps me a lot and I help him a lot. But he said, I don't have to go to church. I, I live good at home. He works on Sunday and I, out in his yard and everything. But he's a boast about how good health he had. I, I mean, we never know what's going to happen to us. I, I can go over there right here now with a heart attack. We don't know. I, I what the next step will be, what the next breath holds. I, I, but I'm glad tonight I, I can brag on God. He's let me live another time. He's let me come to the house of God. I, I praise and praise Him. I, I thank God for that. I, I've got a lot of ground to cover, but I'm trying to get it in. I, I, Tommy asked me why. I think how many scriptures I had, three or four again. But I like to mind God. I, I like what He said in uh, Psalm 25 uh, and verse number uh, 14. The uh, Bible said here, I read it while ago, but it said that boast uh, of their self, uh, how sad it is that people uh, I think more of their self than they do God. Uh, God is good. Uh, I thank God for that. Psalms uh, uh, 25 and 14. Let me find it here. I, I misplaced it there somewhere, but I'll, I'll find it in the man. Don't let, don't let the devil de- beat me down. You pray for me tonight. Uh, it seemed like the devil's fighting against me for some reason tonight, but I'm glad God holds the future in his hands. I praise God. What a God we have. God is good, good all the time. I believe it's a proverb still, Psalms. I read it while ago. There it is. Whosoever boasts himself false gift, it's like clouds without rain. I'm all people bragging what they've done. We've done nothing for ourselves. God lets us breathe and live. He's give us help and strength and a brag on him. He give me hands to help those along the way. He's give me legs to walk in his footsteps. He's give me ears to hear the word of God. He's give me eyes to see things ahead. I thank God tonight. I'm what I am by the grace of God.
Thank God for that. The Bible said was born in iniquity from a mother's womb. But I'm glad tonight we can boast on God. What God has done. I mean, we can't do nothing by ourselves. I mean, when me and my wife had her first child back in uh, uh, 74, and I, I went to the hospital and got there just a few minutes. She delivered her child. And I, I walked in that little room there. And I, I seen a child born to mine. My, my wife, God give us. Thank God. Nobody else can do that. God has to do that. But we talk talking about it. Daddy had a 30% change. It's nothing too hard for God. I can brag on God. How God healed me many a time. God is good. Ephesians 2 and 3. The Bible said, among whom also we had our conversation in time time and lust of the f- our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind, and for by nature the children of wrath, as uh, boy, we, uh, we thought we'd be biggity uh, uh, back in our world. Uh, I didn't drink a lot. I didn't get drunk a lot. I didn't smoke pot and dope and things. Uh, uh, kids nowadays, that's all they think about. Uh, boy, they think they're big. Uh, I remember the first time I uh, uh, smoked to say that boy I want to be big I'm nothing without God we're just old human beings I saved by the grace of God I may not be perfect I'm glad that of God here but one thing I can brag about I know I'm a child of God Amen. that's worth it all tonight was all born lost without God I was said because Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden sin was pronounced upon the world the Bible said in Romans 5, 12, 4, 4, by one man's sin, and unto the word and death by sin, so death was passed upon no man, for all have sinned. You know, Adam and Eve had it made a perfect play, but they've done wrong. They went against God. Every time you go against God, and the Bible said, I'd be sure your sins will find you out, and they'll catch up with you. But I'm glad. I don't have nothing to brag about. And we are what we are by the grace. Of God. If you're a child of God, you had to come like I did through the blood, through the repentance of your sins. The Bible said in Hebrews 9 22, and without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. None of us here tonight's got nothing to brag about except what God's done for us. I'm thankful for that. God's still working on me. God's still changing me. I thought about many things. Things changes every day. Uh, look how things have turned around the last year or so and last month or so. I mean, things are happening huh? over in Turkey and over in there. I think they said there's over 7,000 people I huh? lost their life in that earthquake. Huh? I can happen right here in Six Mile, Tennessee. Huh? We need to be ready at all times. Huh? I'm glad. Huh? I've got something to base about. I'm right on God. I've got something to praise Him for tonight. Next of all, we can't boast about our goodness and our evil ways. Well, there's some people, I've seen them, and I know you have. Being a preacher, I've seen a lot of things in my lifetime. And I'm glad, Brother Roger, I'm thankful. I'm not what I used to be. Right. I used to be I, as a preacher's boy, and I, I didn't do a lot of things, but I cussed. I had a bad tongue. I, I got saved. My tongue got saved. I, I got baptized. My tongue got baptized. Yeah. God made a new creature out of me. He changed my life. I've got something to praise him for. I've got something to shout him for. Thank God. We have nothing to brag about. People are bragging about how much they can drink, how much beer they have, how much dope they can take. That's what's wrong with the world today. I mean, I've never seen a lot of people turning away from God. They used to be on fire for God and used to go to church and used to serve God. Now they're out in the world having a big time. I, I guess what happened? I, I, those things are going to catch up with them. I'd be sure you'll seem to find you out. I, I, you don't get by. I, you might get by for a while. I, I, but I'm glad. I, I'm sure in the arms of God. I'm glad I've had protection. God's good. James chapter 3, verse number 5. Bible do I think this. Three and five. I'm in the wrong one here. My eyes run together. I got new glasses and I seem like I can't get used. James 3 and 5. Just 
uh, uh, go on with me just a minute. I'll get straight down here in a minute. I know the devil's fighting me while he don't want this major. But we ought to be uh, thanking God right now that we have the Word of God. I was in James 3 and 5. For so, uh, so the tongue is a little member and boasts his great thing. Behold, how great a man with little far tenders. I, I know when we lived in town and just little boys. I, our neighbor around the uh, corner uh, on the other side of the river there. Uh, uh, they real rich. They real rich back in the uh, uh, 60s and 50s and 60s. Uh, and we go around that boy. Uh, they had one boy. Uh, they'd buy him anything he wanted. That's the way kids are today. That's what's wrong with them. And they'd been sport. We lucky to get an apple and orange for Christmas. Uh, that was all right. I need mean, God. I don't need an apple and orange. Uh, I like to eat. I enjoy eating. Uh, and we'd go around and he'd get a new bicycle. Uh, I go ahead and brag about that. They had money running out of their years. I bet that won't happen when it comes judgment day. If they're not saved. I'm glad that God's still God. He said that in verse 8, that same one. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, evil, a full of deadly poison. That little tongue can get you in trouble. I worked on the job. And the salesman come to me and told a lie on me. I had to go to court over in Oxford and stand before the judge. He said, do you promise us to tell the truth? Nothing but the truth. I told the truth and they got them all in trouble. He didn't like me up to head. I, I wasn't going to lie for no man. I, I ain't a liar. I, I may fail make mistakes, I, but God's a forgiven God. I, I'm glad I'm what I am tonight. Yeah, Praise God. I have nothing to brag about. James chapter 4 and verse 16. The Bible says here, it said, but now you are rejoicing your boast. Boasting and all such rejoicing is evil. More people today, they're bragging how much money they got, how long they're going to live. I was coming down to town today uh, and over right next to Walgreens, I got that whole field blocked off. I'm fixing to build something now. I'm building motels on top of each other. I, and they act like they're going to live forever. I, nobody's worried about the end of time. I, I preached the message the other day on the radio. I, are you watching? You know what Paul said? He said, looking for that blessed hope, glorious appearing. I'm a great God and Savior. I've got something to break about. Why? It ain't my goodness. It's God's goodness. Yeah. Praise God about that. Thank God. I'm glad we have something to shout about. It ain't how good I am, how pretty I am. It's all about the Lord. I, I look at this verse right here. I use it a lot. That, uh, Mark chapter 7, verse 18. Boy, I know that in me, that is in the flesh, thou dwelleth no good thing, for to do the will of present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. I, I mean, when God saved me, I, I was a pretty good little boy, I was lost. It ain't the goodness I done that saved me. It was God's mercy, Brother Larry. It was God's will that I got saved. I'm glad I got saved when I did. I, I praise it, Brother Larry. The Bible said we're just so filthy rags. Yeah. Without God, we're nothing. We're empty tonight. Yeah. We'd be dying without Him. But I'm glad God can help us tonight. Yeah, we just trust Him. We just got our faith gets weak. I know mine does. Yeah. I know yours. We're living in evil times, mm-hmm. times that we've never faced before, and it's going to get worse. Yeah. And I'm glad the Bible said in Luke 18 and 19. Uh, uh, none good, no, not one, but God. He's the only one. That, that's good. He didn't. Uh, they didn't find no fault in him when he went to the cross, but uh, uh, Dustin. But I'm glad he went and took my place and your place uh, and paid a debt for us we couldn't have paid. Uh, that's why I love God. Uh, it wasn't because of me. Uh, it was because the love of God. Uh, he said, "And Peter, not willing, then you should pay, but all should come to repentance." Don't aim for nobody to go to hell. They go there and, and root in their self, going against God, blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. I believe God's got a lot of people right now. I really believe this. I, I've been in a lot of meetings here lately. I, our churches are dead, dried up. Nobody did nothing. I, I believe God turned a lot of people over a bit for bait mind to believe a lie and be damned. But ain't you glad you know you're saved? I, ain't you know you've got a better place to go? I, thank God for that. That's right. None doeth good, no, not one. But I'm glad tonight we have something to brag about. Anything good about us is from God. Yeah, I praise the Lord. God's been good to me. I've got a lot of good things. 
Got a pretty good automobile. Got a little house to live in. I've got pretty good health. It's not as good as it used to be, but I'm praising God. I'm still able to go and praise the Lord. Somebody told me up there Monday, I said, we don't know how you're going like you are. It ain't me. There's strength in the Lord. I'm glad, Brother, uh, Brother Roger, uh, the Bible said that in Philippians, uh, I can do all things through Christ. Uh, who strengthen me. Uh, if I live to be a 90 year old and God lets me live, I still want to preach the Word of God. As long as I can. Next of all, boast not about your riches and your wealth. Boy, those people got money piled up everywhere. They got it in the banks, got it in the homes, they got it hidden everywhere. Your money ain't going to do you no good. The Bible said the love of money is the root of all evil. Hey, people are bragging how much money they got. And they're worrying about the banks that go busted. And all these things are coming upon the world. We ain't seen nothing yet. We better get on fire for God and stay close to God and worship God and brag on God. Amen. He'll bring us through. Thank God for that. We have that hope. We have that promise. Psalms chapter uh, 49 and verse 6. Bible says, And they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitudes of their riches. I don't have a lot of money. Don't have a lot of wealth. Don't have a lot of treasures piled up. I got a little bit in the bank to pay my bills. That's about it. I'm getting by. If I have to drink bank's water and eat cornbread, that's all right with me. It wouldn't hurt us all to go on the feast, I guess, sometime and just pray and talk to God. That's what I done the other night. I just laid and prayed. I said, God, give me the message for new providence. And he gave me this message. I'm not bragging on me. I'm not bragging on how much money I got on my pocket right now. I don't have a dime, but I'm glad I had the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. It all comes from God. Everything I have, I believe in paying tithe. A lot of people, they rob God by not paying their tithe. I don't know how I got on that, but that's part of the wealth and thing. These people make some good money. I had a family help me on my broadcast for years. I've been on a long time. They help me every week, every month. They brought me like a hot potato. Why? They think more of the money than they do God. God will get it one way or another. I guarantee you will. We can't boast how much we got. It all comes from God. All good gifts from above. And I'm glad God can help us tonight. We just trust Him. I know we've all probably seen this, seen the time that you didn't know how He was going to pay the bills, but it always comes through. My water pipe busted back in several months ago, and Zach came out and put me a new meter in. And I was worried about how I was going to pay it. How much my water bill was in. My, I started shouting when I got my water bill. God took care of me on that. I thank God for that. I've been out on the highways traveling, didn't have the gas money. I get to church, somebody hand me money, say, please for put this on your blog, I put it in your gas tank. It takes a lot of money to travel now. A guy come to my house yesterday, I believe it was, he said, please how you travel like you do. I said, God makes a way. When he makes a way, he'll make a way, Brother Dustin. Thank God. I, I like to break on what God can do. Praise God. God is, uh, is good all the time. Uh, Psalm 52 and verse uh, uh, number 7. The Bible said here, I'm trying to, uh, uh, through these, and God to help us tonight. Lo, this is the man that may, may, made God his strength, but trusted in abundance of his riches and strengthened in himself in his weakness. I will you think you're strong, you become weak. Uh, and none of us can do nothing without God. Uh, I get weak myself. I get discouraged. But I'm glad I don't trust in my money. Uh, I put my faith in God. The Bible said in Psalm 118 and 8, it's better to trust in the Lord. Put your confidence in man. I got people at church. I'll be honest with you. They desire a Sunday, good, pretty good number. I said, come back tonight. They said, we'll be back. They know they wasn't coming back. I don't have no trust in people like that. I mean, I'm glad I can trust in God. And I appreciate Tommy. They said, I know I can trust you down at my church. And I said, Tommy, I, I want to do my best. I don't want to go down and hurt nobody. I don't want to deceive nobody. I want people to have confidence in me. I, a lot of people don't like me. I'm too old-fashioned. I, I'm too loud. I'm too emotional. That's all right. It don't matter what people think. It's what God knows. Right. Thank God for that. I watched old Greg. I'll use him for example. I know I can trust anybody in this church right now. I believe I can do that. 
And all these women, kids, and boys, and girls, men and women, I believe if I need anything, you can come my way to you. That's the way Christians ought to be tonight. I mean, these people are got holding money back, still helping somebody along the way. I, I, I had a little lady down in the North City. She died and said, well, you can listen to me on the river when I was on down there. She'd call me every Sunday and said, preacher, sing my song. I knew what it was. She sent me three dollars every week for my barn cat. That's all she had. Little old widow woman lived by herself. It broke my heart. And I got that money. I put it in my radio and God made three hundred dollars. That's what God can do. You can now get God. I think we're bragging what they've got. New cars, new homes. I believe Dustin tell me a new boat right now is over two hundred thousand dollars. Let them have the boat. Let them go on the lake. I'd rather go to the house of God. Enjoy what I've got. I don't have a big a bank account. I don't have a new car. I don't have a car. I That's all I need. I just need more God in my I think it made the devil mad now. Run him off. Get out of here. We don't need him. Thank God. God's good. Let me get my breath. Praise God. Boy, I, I like to brag on the Lord. Mark chapter... 10 and verse 23. And Jesus looked around about them and said to his disciples, How hardly they that shall have riches into the kingdom of God. I know people who's died and had a lot of money. Families and the kids got in fight of who's going to get who. It didn't do them no good. The one that died, they didn't take it with them. But I'm glad tonight, I, I know I'm ready. I may leave my wife a few things, my kids... But it ain't what matters. Main thing to know that you're born again. You may not have a dime to your name, but God loves you. God died for you. I mean, when I got saved sitting on the second bank, there were just a wife sitting, a little barefooted boy, 11 years old. I didn't have much shoe at back in the uh, uh, 50s. I, I moved 54, 55. I, I come down that aisle that night, a little barefooted boy. I, I didn't have a dime to my name. But I went down the bank of Brother Greg. I, I got a hurry to come. I'm glad I'm rich in the Lord. I may not have much of this life. I've got what I need tonight. Got the Lord. He's good to me. Here's a good verse. You ought to mark this in your Bible. The Bible said in Revelation 3, 17. This is where a lot of people are right now. Because they say, I'm rich, increase with goods. Have need of nothing. And know it's not that there aren't riches and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Mm-hmm. I've been in the hospital many times, teaching care and the trauma of where people's dying. I remember one night I was sitting on what you two were in the hours of the morning. This family was there, this poor people didn't hardly. Have a dime to a name, no doubt, no trap of a car, just poor people. I believe his wife was dying. I felt so sorry for him. I went to him, talked to him. I said, you just go to church. No, preacher, we don't live for God. We don't go to church. No, how poor. Die poor and die and go to hell. Yeah. You don't have to be poor. There's riches in God. But I remember that so well. That broke my heart. People think more of the money than they do God. Today's people on this earth don't have a dime, still don't have God. You can't have no peace till you get God in your heart and your life. Amen. He makes a difference in our hearts and our life. Next of all, people boast about their works and serving to God, service to God. I'm glad I'm able to come tonight. I'm glad Tommy had come and he called me to come. He asked me about the prayer service the other Monday night. It flew in my heart. I was telling Dustin, I, I mean this. I try to pray when I go preach, and I'm trying to make sure I've got the right man. You may not like this mission, but I do. That's what God made on my heart. I, I need this mission. And you know, uh, sometimes we get wrapped up in the world, and I, I know, uh, I guess we got a little raise on our, uh, uh, Social Security, but they take it right back out. Uh, but I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about how I'm going to pay the bills. God always takes care of it. Uh, but I'm glad that God can help us. Uh, but I'm thankful tonight that I'm glad I'm able. 
come and work for God. That old song, we'll work till Jesus comes. Some people, it's a dread to them. I'm glad I don't have to be called on Sunday morning. Are you coming to church today, Pastor? Yes, I am. I've got a desire to be in my house of God. That's what's wrong with people right now. That's why our church is empty. Yeah, they've right. lost that desire. They don't want to do nothing. The Bible said, God's the Spirit, we must worship Him and the Spirit and the truth. The Bible said in Ephesians 2 and 8, uh, 2 and 9, uh, 8, uh, for by grace are you saved through faith that not of yourself. It is a gift of God, lest the works that any man should know. I will not, <coughs> we're not working for our salvation. I believe, Brother Roger, I, when a person gets born again, he want to have something to do for God. I, maybe hand out track, maybe be a doorkeeper like David was. I, I, maybe I teach Sunday school. There's always something to do. I, I some people, two couples leave the church. I, I good people, I, I faithful. I, they said they didn't have enough to do there. What the big enough for them? I, I'm glad I'm happy where I'm at. I, I want to work for God. I, time is running out. Yeah. Now it's coming. The Bible said they love darkness more than light. We're living in the dark time. People better wake up and realize. John 9, 4 said, night coming. We better be a working because the night coming when no man can work. I know, people, I seen, I coming back from uh, care of a Monday night on the southbound, uh, northbound side going towards Kentucky. Had big lights up there working on the street. And I said, well, I thought to myself, well, that's the light that shines bright. But I'm glad I've got a bright light shining in me. I know I go through the valley. Man, old brother Ale, he's dead now. He's in glory. Great man of God. Used to be the pastor of our freedom years ago. Many of them used to sing the song, The Only Far I Fear is burning in my heart. Uh, heart. Uh, I wonder sometimes do our lights get dim? Uh, people watching their lives. Uh, we better be letting our lights shine. Uh, I tell them the Lord's coming. Uh, I'm glad we can come to church and sing and glorify. Uh, I'm glad Abby sung that song. This other young lady sung that song. A good choir singing choir. We quit and we had a good uh, testimonies and pain. That's all God's word. Uh, I thank God we've all got a job to do. Amen. Pray for the pastor. Pray for the church. There's always something to do. Uh, Brother uh, Roger said, Why well, go? No, well, you caught I did. He said, Well, we got a lot to pray for. Him. We got a lot to be thankful for, Brother Roger. Right. I'm glad that I can pray. I'm glad I can do what I can do. The Bible said in Isaiah 66 and 18, He knows their works, and He does. If they're not of, of God, they're going to be burned up. They're going to come this stubble. I'm glad we build it on the solid rock. He said, upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I'm glad today that if we stay with God, God will bring us through. I want to work for God. I want to serve God. Oh, Joshua said, Joshua 24 and 15, I choose you whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. I stay with God. Don't get out. Don't lift away from God. I know in the revival we had there. I appreciate those that come. My wife come when I got closer to God. I like that old song. I draw me near to thee. That's what's wrong with us right now. We get away from God and the devil beats us down. Get cold and different. Get away from God. But we need to come close to God and let God help us tonight. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 7. With well good doing service as to the Lord and not to man. Well, a lot of people follow the pastor, don't they? He leaves, they leave. We better be following God, following his footsteps. I, I'm glad tonight. I can brag about how God's blessed me to work in the house of God. I, I go a lot of places. I get a lot of appointments. I'm on the radio. I get a lot of calls. I go to homes and visit. I go to the hospitals and visit and nursing home. I go about every week somewhere. I'm visiting somebody in the I got a good preacher out in the nursing home now. Been there several months, and it's sad. He's getting better uh, slowly, slowly. But I'm glad I go by and lift him up, and we get to praying in there. And Brother Dutch, we just have prayer meeting there in his room. I, I mean, one time I was up at the hospital, but no more at the old hospital. I, I had a little lady there, 98 year old, and the other little lady was 97. And they're both good. Uh, I mean, they drop. I had to get the shower. I went in there one day to visit him. You talk about. 
about a hallelujah time. I mean, they thought the roof was falling in. I got to shout, and the old ladies almost come out of the bed shouting. They died right after that. A nurse come in there, and she said, what are you to do? I said, well, have a meeting. She said, just shut the door. Go ahead. Worship God. That's what we need tonight. I went there to cheer them up, and they cheered me up. I used to go to lawn nursing. They won't let me in much anymore. I guess I scared them or something. I don't know. We have a desire to work for God. I'm yes. glad I do. God don't like a lazy person. He wants somebody to be busy. Yeah. Yeah. I try to do my part in somebody else's. I guess over at church, I try to do mine. I have to do the rest of them sometimes. I get on to him. He don't do no. He just like water pouring off. Just like his water pouring the floor. That's about all it amounts to. I'm glad when God saved me, he gave me something to do. To right. do but great. Yeah. Thank God. Boy, I, I've had a good time. I got one more point I want to bring in. I'm talking. I hope this, I, I've been kind of scattering tonight, but I felt the breeze of God. I felt the Amen. anointing of God. Amen. I hope you have. I hope this made We give the invitation. Maybe you're boasting about this and that, what you've got. It don't matter what you've got. Main thing, know that you're born again. That's the main thing. I mean, you can buy a lot of things. My wife kid me a lot, wanting a new dress, new ring, diamond ring. We've been married at 53 years. It's coming March. We live. And she says, honey, I'd like to have a new ring. Why you want a new ring, boy? Uh, oh, Lord, it's coming. You won't need it, man. Uh, we'll have the marriage supper. We'll be there. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be a glorified body. I don't have to worry about rings. Uh, I see these kids with rings in their nose or ears. Uh, and boy, we'll it's around them. Uh, it's a shame. And uh, uh, we better be glad we what we are by the grace. God. Thank God when we can work for God. I like that old song. We'll work till Jesus comes. How many are going to stick it out? I am. Too far up on the journey to turn back. We went to church one morning, been about two years ago, I guess. Barbara forgot the main thing she needed. We got almost church. She said, I forgot something. I said, it's too late now. We're almost at church. And I started to turn around and go back and get it, but I didn't. We got to church. She found what she's losing. <laughs> That's where the devil works. He'll, want you, he'll give you a detail. I had to go, you don't need to go down that car. That old daddy's going to be down preaching. He'll just put on the shoulder, holler and hook, and shout around. You don't need to go down. He'll tell you anything. How many glad you come tonight? I'm yeah. to in the house of God. I mean, this could be a life service. We never know. Yeah. Oh, Tommy told him, one thing he told me, he said, you just shear out the corn, they'll eat it. <laughs> a lot of chickens nowadays, they don't know, know what to look up and what anymore. Hives eggs are. You're going to have to buy some hen house. It looks like they have eggs. But I'm glad God supplies the needs according to his riches and gold. God's good. I like the old timey way. But last of all tonight, I want you to listen. This is my invitation right here. We can't boast that we will be alive tomorrow. That's right. That's right. None of us can. I hope I can. I love my family. I love my grandkids, my great-grandkids. I love my son. Even though he's out in jail, in bad shape. I love him. I told him today, I said, son, daddy loves you. He's turned his back on me, but he called me and apologized. Brace my heart. No matter what we've done, God still loves us. We all use God as a fire tower sometimes. God don't kill us but I'm glad tonight if I don't make it to get home tonight if I don't make it to in the morning you hear on the news old daddy but can't went home to be the Lord you just shout with me yeah. I'm glad there's a better day coming old Paul yeah. yeah. place for me we sung up there Monday night and I had to come from there uh, 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 glad reunion day. I like that song. I'm glad, brother, uh, uh, brother Larry. I'm glad one day God's children are going to meet now, but I heard you talk about a reunion. I, I've got a good preacher friend, the old saint of God, that stood by me many years on the radio. They're waiting me on the other side. I had a little lady die a while back. I went by her house to see her, and she said, Preacher, I, I may go before you for do. I'll be waiting on you. I'll be there. Thank God. Boy, ain't you glad. It's a words by the home. I don't know where I'll be alive tomorrow, but if I don't, I know who I'm going. I'm saved. Are you saved tonight? Are you ready to meet God? Proverbs 27, 1. I'm ready to walk. But most not on tomorrow, they know it not. What a day may bring forth. He said in uh, uh, Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto man once to die, then after this. 
the judgment. First Samuel chapter 20 and verse 3. This is the step between us and death. I may have told this before that last time. I don't know whether I did or not. This is a true story. I had a family come to our church. It's probably about 10 or 15 of them, the whole family. Started coming to our church. They got saved. I baptized a whole bunch of them. A whole flock of them. I was down there one Sunday evening. One of the daughters had never been saved. And I was baptizing her daddy and mama. And Brother Greg, she walked up to me. She's probably in her 20s. I guess 21, 22. Brother Dustin, she walked up to me. She said, put your hands on. I going to get saved. Get back. I left her clothes and all. I didn't that label with her daddy and mama. You talk about shouting. Just a few months later after that, we headed to church. My phone went off. And Brother George's wife called me. She was weeping. I said, what's wrong, honey? She said, my husband walking out the door in the yard to go come to church. And he had a heart attack and fell away. Health and never been sick. I, I think of that a lot of time. We don't have to be sick to die. Let's be ready. Are you ready tonight? He's coming. Romans 6 and 23. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. Is eternal life. The Bible said, uh, uh, sin bringeth forth lust, lust bringeth forth uh, sin, and sin bringeth forth death. And you know, that's the killing people. People dying, going to hell every day. The rich man died in hell, lifted up his eyes. He had an opportunity, but he turned God away. Mm-hmm. You're here tonight and you're not saved. You ought to take heed tonight. Lord, he's coming. He's coming soon. The Bible said in Ecclesiastes 9 and 5, the living know that they're going to die. We all know that. I mean, I was thinking about when Brother Greg tell me about his daddy. But I'm glad God's still God. God still has whole power. God can still heal. I mean, I wouldn't be here tonight if God hadn't touched me. I praise God for that. God's good. I've been in the hospital. I don't know what Brother Roger had. Maybe Zach and these other preachers, if there's any more here. I don't know if you've ever been in the hospital. I have a many a time. Doctors come in Sad look over the face and said, we've done all we can do. Now, I want to tell this. This is a true story. It happened this, 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 this week. I believe no, last week. Just last week. But I'm glad there's a higher power. I'm glad God's able to heal. He's able to raise the dead, heal the sick, save the lost. I, I turned my YouTube on one morning last week. I get up early. I just got up and opened my U- uh, tablet. This church up in Virginia this guy was preaching. I just caught him when he started reading the scripture. I called it. Boy, I listened. Now I cried. I jumped up out of my seat. said, thank you, Lord. I needed that message. I had on my heart that God said, you need to call him. I had never met him. I don't know who he is, but I know he's a man of God. I got off of that YouTube. I got off that tablet. Closed it up. I went in. I called him. Didn't get no white. I left a message. This is, I tell him, Brother Dustin, this really happened this last week. Show you how God works. That was the reason I called him. He said, he come home, been to the doctor, his wife, well bad. He come home, he said, I've seen your number on my phone. What do you need? I said, I need to talk to you. He said, well, how can I help you? I said, I want to give you a flyer and thank you for that message. You preached to my heart. That's what I need. It got me closer to God. Talk about our lives, how we live. And things we let Satan turn us down. I needed that. He started praising the Lord. He said, Preacher, I got something I need to. I, I, I just pray. And somebody would call me. He said, I got something I want to share with you. He said, I don't know you. You don't know me. I'm going to go up there as soon as I can. He's going to come over to church. He said, I want to share something with you. Said our church, it got a good church, big crowd, good a spiritual church, about like this, about the size of this. He said, We went to the doctor, we've been praying for my wife. The doctor said they can't do nothing else for her. They don't know what to do. We just got back from the doctor and we run all kinds of tests today. Just got back and I seen more you call. Said, I want to share this with you. Said the doctor's come out and told us that we can't find a thing. We don't know what happened. Yeah. Couldn't help her before, now they can. Why? Because God touched her. She don't need help in. She got a healing. Got a touch from God. That's what your daddy called. I'm glad I'm here. I got to say it or not. Have the touch of God. They done that. Thank God we are. Thank you, my dad. I get excited sometimes. I may preach another if it's all right. I've got another.
another day. <laughs> I better let you go. You can just throw me out and let you have me back. But I like what old Paul said in Philippians 121. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. This world's not a home with this pilgrim's passing through. Death comes to us all. Are you ready tonight? That's the little message. You have nothing to boast about but God. Amen. I shared my heart with you tonight. You know, we boast a lot of things. I'm proud to have what I have. They some people, you just can't outdo them. They got more than I have and better than I have. That's all right. They don't have God. They have nothing. Amen. Let's all stand, Dustin, Justin, get us a song, if you will. I want you to mind the Lord tonight. Maybe God's speaking to your heart. Maybe been a bragging on yourself how good you are and how healthy you are and how good you are. But we have nothing to brag about but God. But I want you to ask, God, am I ready, God? Am I saved? God, no. I look on you, I repent, but God looks on your heart. Everybody head bowed, nobody looking around, we're going to pray, and then we're going to sing. If you're here tonight and you have a need, you be obedience to the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, God, for the message you've laid on my heart. Nothing up in me to brag about. But God, I want to lift you up above the shadows, above all the trials and troubles that come their way. I pray for the good pastor here, Brother Tommy. You keep him safe. Keep your hand on him. He's a man of God. I love him, and I know the church loves him. God, I don't know what we do without him, but God, one day we're all going to be together. God, I'd like to come back sometime, but God, we may not do that. We may not make it tomorrow. We don't know. As I preached a while ago, we don't have the promise of tomorrow. But God, I'm glad you hold the future in your hand. Maybe there's somebody here tonight. Maybe don't know for sure they're saved. Maybe they think, I've got another change. Maybe I've got good health. I don't need to go to the doctor. I'm all right. But you never know what's going to happen. I mean, things can come up on your face. I pray, God, tonight as we pray and as we give the invitation, God, as we pray and we sing this song, I pray if there's one here tonight that they will slip out of that pew, come down this hall and say, God, I'm nothing but old filthy rags. I'm nothing, God, without you tonight. But we all get sorry for ourselves sometimes, but we let Satan beat us down. But, God, we've got something to shout about. We've got something to brag about tonight for us when I say, God, we got miserable life. We got uh, torment ahead of us, God, but I'm glad that we can come and get at peace and joy and happiness. Be with us now, we pray. Amen and amen. Anybody here tonight and you need to come, you come.